She comes from a very wealthy family, bro. bro. Get me wrong. Fresh what? got cuz looking cra- I mean, he already had him looking crazy, dog. But God, bro, man, we got to kick cuz off the show. What up, YouTube, man? I'm just here to watch the show. I've been preach. <laughs> Got most for uh, Fresh and Fit. So let's get it, man. Before we tap in, though, make sure y'all pull up the shop, stevenknight.com. Anytime you see your boy rocking some drip that you rocking with, man, pull up to the site. Find some like, I got you. Hey, man, Pug CEO, bro, you need it. One of these shirts, bro. Go buy this. Not buy that, dog. We got ourselves another video on Fresh and Fit. I wonder how they feel about it. Again! Mm. Mr. Hair Transplant doesn't look too happy. These guys were so quick to try to- Why was Cuz so tight though, bro? Break shit? What? Use this as content to make us look bad? They didn't properly vet this girl, but it's okay, I'm gonna do it for them. But then she's running around and telling Abba and Preach and all these other simps, Oh, I'm gonna score and they're believing it. Oh, okay, I believe it. Interviewing a criminal, giving her a platform, letting her tell you all these lies, and and you best believe, I'm calling immigration on you, hundred <laughs> percent. You sh you shouldn't even be here. All of a sudden, they think that this kind of character assassination is going to somehow lend credence to the fact that Fresh is asking her to get an abortion, and this is not the first time. I repeat, what? Fresh has done this to other women, and I wouldn't believe it. I just dropped a video yesterday on that, but but the character assassination on her is irrelevant <laughs> because if you you assassinating her character makes y'all look like the biggest losers on earth because you're admitting to the world that Fresh got a literal whore, sure, pregnant. But if it came from another woman, but guess who it came from? Pug CEO himself. What's the worst thing you guys have done to a girl? So, if you guys know Tom Likas, there's some, something called the Hail Mary. Yeah. And like, oh, um, shit. basically. You know tell this story? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's okay, do so it. basically, right? Uh, I was with this chick. And is. we were kind of like fizzling out. It wasn't working out. But she got pregnant. And then um, <laughs> I kind of told her, like, yo, we could work this out. Don't worry about it. But we can't have kids right now. And then um, I did a Hail Mary. And now I'm here. No, oh. tell them what the Hail Mary is. Tell them what the Hail Mary is. <laughs> <laughs> tell them what it is. Okay. Go all the way. Okay, okay. So the Hail Mary is, for example, right, where, like, you tell the chick what she wants to hear, and uh, you can have kids later on, make her get an abortion, you take her to McDonald's, get a McGriddle, and an orange juice, you sit her down, you tell her about life, and I, you started this happen, and you never see her again. Hey. Wait, I don't understand what he said. You can get her a nicer meal. Fresh. You ever gonna stop self snitching? Fresh. But what? I don't understand what he said. He just he sold her a dream to make her get an abortion and then left her. I think that's what he said. But yeah, it don't surprise me, bro. Cause cause is an idiot. He's been an idiot. Why would you admit that on y'all's big ass podcast, bro? That's like that's evil. <laughs> that's evil, bro. Right. You f***ing idiots! Facts. And in case you're wondering whether or not this is a real story, if you keep watching the clip, you'll see that, that being said, Fresh says it's real. Coconuts and Barbados. You know, it's, it's okay. People were like, oh, why would you think this? Because this is who Fresh is. This is things he's done before. So essentially, this guy gets a girl pregnant, pretends he's going to be with her, says, listen, oh, I want babies with you, but it's just not the right time. So the girl's so in love, she's like, all right, I'll get rid of this kid that I do want, that you put inside of me. But to be with you, I'll get rid of it, and then we'll have kids together in the future when it's going to be the right time. And then he dumps her after she got the abortion. Does this seem like the kind of person who's trustworthy and responsible? I'm asking. According to Fresh himself, he's not. He's a deceptive individual who will say anything to a woman to get her to like him, and then will also lie to her to get himself out of any situation. I said, if a girl's on camera with me, she is what? Not my girl. Let's keep that in mind. If I bring a girl on camera, she's not my girl. You can never see my girl because I know what happens when you bring a girl on, on the internet. I'll learn from experience. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm proud of her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Let me think. Love you. 
when I say Fresh is not credible and he's a dishonest person, this is what I mean. Is this red pill? To nut inside of a bunch of women, get them pregnant, and hope you can use deception to get them abortions? The nuclear family is the backbone to any thriving society. Is it part of the nuclear family to nut inside a bunch of women that you don't actually want to be with and get them pregnant and hope they get abortions? Is this how you father uh, families and don't create single parent households? You know the thing is, all this um, people and them, they've been saying that we're not red pill, even though we never claim that we are. And we're not. But neither are you. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. Neither are you. What is more beta than coming inside of women that y'all claim are sex workers and getting them pregnant and risking all your financial future? What is more beta than having an online beef with somebody and then putting on monkey suits and then losing millions of dollars because you want to be an idiot on camera? All you guys do is take hey, L's. A, a fresh and fit roasting session, bro. At the end of the day, bro, I think the majority of people know at this point that you know there are they are fraud in it bro you know what i'm saying like people just watch this shit because it's entertaining to see them bring up delusional hoes and roast them bro people are not i'm hoping i'm hoping you know what i'm saying the minority i, I think simps and bait them up because then like incels or that other are the minority of their followers that really like believe in them holding them in this high regard as like red pill gurus or some shit like that, bro. But most people know, especially at this point, because this, especially considering this, because it's a pattern at this point, bro. Like it's always something that, that call these fools out, that show them doing something entirely opposite of the shit they're preaching on this channel. But I will continue to watch, I will continue the roasting session. Let's go. God. Every time you guys get a chance, you embarrass yourself. And I know your fan base knows it because they're eviscerating you in the comments and they look at you guys like clowns. Oh, it's not really a fan base. Sometimes you're watching things because it's entertaining. Exactly. Because you like it. Yeah. Or you like what's going on or anything yeah. like that. I don't know how you guys take this movement seriously. If you want to take it seriously, take it seriously. Their, their whole like destroying stream, they brought up her ID. They said all this other stuff. They provide no proof. Nothing really tangible. And they never address any of the lies they told their own fans. They don't address the fact that Fresh did pay for that gift, even though he told fans they're stupid. Half it, like half it. They have literal receipts that show Fresh paid for it. The Chinese court, because I'm about to get Fresh on this one too. So Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long sleeve <laughs> bracelet, which are worth up to 30K, to a Chinese escort you just met. Now Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. Show me the proof. But the escort says that you did. No, no he, didn't, he didn't. Number one, he didn't buy the bracelet so, for her. All one here's, here's where you're wrong. Crazy. One, she's on the escort. And two, I didn't buy a bracelet. So, what are you trying to say, bro? Where's, where's your proof? You have no proof. You're fresh, you're bro. You're fresh. You're, you're volunteering to embarrass yourself online. It's no different than like some OnlyFans shit, bro. Like, y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all know what y'all doing. Hopefully, y'all had like a little power. I'm like, oh, bro, we're going to keep this shit going. We're going to like, goddamn, squeeze this juice, get this, get these views, get this coin, get this AdSense revenue. You know what I mean? Like, just literally selling out but people are gonna continue to stay in tune to watch the show. <laughs> it's good TV. You're trick, bro, you're lying. And everyone sees it, there's all ones in the chat, bro. So to put that on me, just cause you wanna say, oh, Fresh is a simp, wrong. So you didn't buy Fresh, it. So can you no, respond? you're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet, he didn't buy the yeah. bracelet. And you're saying, oh, Fresh bought her a Van Cleef bracelet. You have no proof of this. None. No, it's not true, he, he, paid, he paid half and I paid half. Like, like I said, how much around 30K? Uh, well, First, I, I still have the conversation. I told him, what's the issue if you tell everyone you bought me the bracelet? Like, why can't you tell everyone? Why can't you speak the truth? Like, why are you like pretending it, like hiding it? But then the he was like, good actor, though, he boy. just told me to shut up. He would do this for a long if Fresh time. is not his baby or she's not pregnant, then just demand a DNA test. Why don't you go do that? There's a reason why you're not going to do it. The yes. reason why you're not going to do it is because you know it's your kid. All these people saying, oh, Fresh is uh, imp impotent. He can't have kids. That would be the, that's the first thing Cuz should have did, knowing that there's a possibility of the bitch being in the hole, bruh. You better get you a fucking paternity test on the bitch that's getting paid to bust it open, bro. What the fuck are you talking about, dog? <laughs> you don't know where that bitch puts it, man. <laughs> that's the first thing you should have did, bro. The fuck? Well, according to this, he's had other options before. They claim that she's a worker, okay? I don't care. I said in the first video, she claims she's not, and you claim she's not. So that's what I'm going based off of. All three of y'all said this girl comes from a rich family and all this stuff. 
And what did I say? To date, there's no actual proof that she does any of that kind of work. Now, whether or not you want to believe that is up to everyone at home. Hey, you better Listen, get that ass. I don't know this girl. I don't you know better get that ass. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know their whole history. There's very high possibility that these people have done shady things in the past, so I have no way of knowing. The only people who said they knew her are y'all. Question for you, bro. What proof do you have that she's an escort? This girl comes from a rich ass family. Yeah, bro. You know how d difficult it is to get a fucking visa as a Chinese national to come to the United States as often as she does. She comes from a very wealthy family. Bro, bro. Hey, you're wrong. Fresh got cuz looking. Cr I mean, he already had him looking crazy, dog. But god damn, bro, Myron, you gotta kick cuz off the show. You got to, bro. You gotta get mobile. Nah, it's good TV, bro. Nah, keep him there. Long as this motherfucker out here doing this dumb shit, there's more money in y'all fucking pockets, bro. Y'all, no jumper asses, bro. But fuck, he had you def he had you defending, shouted, he had you defending the whole slower. And he knowing, he knowing in the back of his head that no, nah, it ain't what it is. So I got, I got Myron, my goddamn Ace Boone Coon out here looking crazy for the fucking world to see, and then cause I have a whole podcast. Talking about how the bitch is a, is a escort, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. I I can't I can't fuck with you no more, dog. You bad, you bad for my you bad for my spirit. <laughs> you bad for business. You bad for my reputation. You got to get the fuck on, fresh pug. Nah, dog. You don't do no shit like that. Cause lying straight to Myron face. Woof. That's tough. Punches on court. And two, I didn't buy a bracelet. Fresh, why are you even addressing this live your life? You're not doing anything a person uh, in your shoes wouldn't do. You're living the dream and people going to hate as long as you know you do right by your people and with God you're good. You ain't doing the right by is Myron. Is that they, it's because they brought her into the right yeah. Normally her. he wouldn't give a yeah, I don't, Dude, you can roast me all day. I, don't really, I really don't care. But when you bring her family and her in, into this is weird, bro. It's like really weird. Like, and she's cool. She's cool as f <laughs> like, bro, why? Because you want to hate on me? Come on, man. This is why I don't do vlogs anymore with girls. This is the reason why. Yeah. Because they make them look crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and th this is honestly, like, it's, it's like, funny because we gave y'all the IRL, right? Showing a little bit of our life. Yeah. And then it, like, n now it's like, th and you guys wonder why, like, we're reluctant to, like, show you guys stuff that we do behind the scenes. It's because <laughs> people got to be weird, bro. Like, they always got to be. Yeah, they do. Bro, the reason you guys don't do it is because weird. you guys are fraudsters. And if you really show what happens behind the curtain, they're going to see that you don't live the lifestyle that you proclaim. But, oh. And Fresh, this is evidence of that. Because... Whether this girl's an ex worker or not really has no importance to me. At all. But it has an importance to your movement and the things that you guys profess. These are the exact kind of women that you tell all the men to. If she is what she say, you say she is. You, this is the exact kind of woman you tell every guy to avoid. When you went on the HBO podcast, you said you have to sleep with 50 women or more. Why? So you can discern <laughs> female nature. So you can spot a good one He's from cooking. a bad one. What guys have to do is kind of go in and understand how women operate in today's day and age and i think a, a good way to do that is obviously to have experience so that you're not getting into a relationship or a situation with a woman and you're not aware of her nature and you don't know how to deal with it fresh has supposedly had a thousand bodies pretty successful ladies you know we're both a triple digit notch count he's in the quadruples <laughs> so my honest to god true body count bro no cap ready for it it's over a thousand <laughs> Bro, this shit is fucking funny, dog. Let's <laughs> just see the cap. Cap, 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 cap. Oh, bro. Man. I'm dead ass serious. I remember, I told you, right? I told you about Barbados, <laughs> man. So, listen, guys, I'm gonna break it down for you, right? And you can't tell a good one from a bad one? Doesn't this just make you look like you have zero credibility? How do you get a wife, Ethan? Because my thing is like you, you're you're like just you're talking about the finish line. What about the race? Yeah, yeah. you stand like you have to. Get Are to either of you married? Where you can even identify a female that's worthy of marriage, of having a family with, etc. And unfortunately, in today's day and age, it's not that simple anymore. So we so, live in a very complex world where it's difficult to identify women that are marriage material. A lot of guys <laughs> don't have that ability to find a woman that's worthy. You don't have that ability at all. You don't have that ability. You're not married. That's by choice. <laughs> but you, but no, the ability to find a woman, you clearly don't have that ability. I wonder how many more times they're gonna make this mistake. Again! And? Again! And? Again! So you use the sugar daddy websites as dating sites. 
say it's hard to find a good woman because they're they're motivated by material things and stuff and yet you're seeking women specifically a certain type of woman obviously that would be on a sugar daddy website so it seems like you are confirming your biases by even going there to find women what? okay so you sorry said, Walter I'll, I'll say it. you want me to say it again slower in a sense it's because <sighs> people gotta be weird bro like they always gotta be fucking weird and like send the girls messages like and she gets a bunch of stupid ass messages too I couldn't imagine you know she just has thick skin hey you might be uh confused but I had to take a brief intermission <laughs> mid recording but I'm back it, but they're but they're right they're right we don't honestly post some of the thing that goes um in our personal lives why because people are gonna be weird about it they're gonna take pictures of people that have nothing to do with your family and claim they are your family and then diss them Picks. that happens that's too. what you that's what you did <laughs> so you're right motherfuckers be weirdos yeah and that's you but never forget what they told us many 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 years ago we are better than you niggas <laughs> period i can like we're better than you we make more money than you we got a better fucking channel than y'all we get more views than y'all the only thing you guys got on us is, is you guys been on longer but i guarantee you next year this time we're gonna lap you motherfuckers because you know what Back. nobody works harder than us nope period <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> How's that going? One demonetization and losing millions of dollars later. How's that going? Bruh. Yeah, oh, it's going to be. Bruh, they stupid, dog. I've disciplined you a great many times, <laughs> and I will discipline you again. You know why we do this? Because the red pill, this movement, huh, it is a sickness yes. of the highest order, and I don't enjoy it. Yeah, I got to pay. They showed some kind of video of, um, of her. I can't even do it like that, though, bro. There are good things from the red pill, bro. But, you know, there's extremists to everything. You feel me? But there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of helpful things for men on Red Pill if you follow it the way it's supposed to be followed. You know what I'm saying? But it's only when motherfuckers like this are super extreme with it where it gets out of hand, dog. Like the shit that they talk about. A lot of things they talk about is just not feasible in day-to-day -day relationships. But, I mean, it's, no, it's null and void and it's been null and void because these fools are frauds. Laughing stock of the manosphere, bro. Laughing stock of the manosphere, dog. But... 2024, you can get paid handsomely for embarrassing the shit out yourself. You can you can get paid handsomely for exploiting yourself. You can get paid handsomely for pandering. You can get paid handsomely for being fake, bro. That's all this shit is, dog. It's the way of the world, bro. I remember the first time I seen these fools, bro. I'm like, of course, some of the shit they saying I rock with. Some of the shit they saying I don't fuck with, but them specifically, bro, like. You can you can sniff it out. You knew you knew these motherfuckers was not about it, bro. They probably ain't got them smelt the liquor puss until they got some social media clout about themselves, bro. You knew these motherfuckers was some goddamn square ass loser types. But maybe that's the appeal though, bro. Maybe that's the appeal because because the majority of men that are tapping in are like losers, right? A lot a lot of this real pill shit, toxic ass shit, just to talk shit to the bitches and shit. You feel me? And it's way to get back. So you know I understand that. But I just hope, I, 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 I hope that's the minority, bro. I hope motherfuckers is not going out that goddamn sad. Like, you may be out here a loser like a motherfucker. May not have no money in your bank account. May not get a stitch of pussy. But I hope you are not falling for this bullshit that they putting out, bro. Which is supposedly her with a client. Okay, but it's an anonymous source. Okay. So, and then I, I did a video on this already. Like, it's too far away. It's too blurry. Bruh, but that that don't even look like her. But I didn't say nothing the first time because it's the point they're trying to make is what I was emphasizing. Like, why are you gonna sit here and try to snitch on Fresh CEO like that and just tell the world that he's out here getting a hooker pregnant? You know what I'm saying? That's that's what should be focused on, not the fact that this could possibly be somebody else. But it's a chance that that is somebody else. It's too blurry. That like from what I can tell, what Shawty face looked like that don't look like her face. And then like the titties, the titties don't look like the titties she got. I don't know how old this video is, bro, but it don't even look like the same person. You feel me? But but, but that don't that don't disprove the fact that she may be a hoe or not. But that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant to the fact, bro. Like these motherfuckers are losers. Losers.
the guy. And it gets better. We got video and audio. Run the clip. See, look, that don't, that, don't, that don't look like her, man. That's not the same. That's not the same girl, bro. Look at the damn. It ain't. This is an old video, bro. The, the, the shape of the face ain't the same. The nose ain't the same. But, you know. But even if it is her, bro. <laughs> Myron told the whole world that his co-host just knocked up a fucking slur. Prove it. Prove it. Like we don't even see her face. They don't have the That's a receipt. A receipt without a date, without a fucking store, without a fucking item. It's not a receipt. Because you, what you have is a piece of paper. That's facts. And there's a lot of other pieces of paper here. You showed a scrumpled up piece of paper all in Chinese. Her getting fired from some place for 11 different reasons. It doesn't even say which one it is. You guys just assumed it's got to be all of them. But it's I, irrelevant. It was rinky dink. It don't even really matter. I'm like, oh, listen, maybe they got something good. There was nothing there. Whether she is a or not, I don't care. It doesn't even matter. It, it doesn't even matter. Did Fresh get her pregnant or not? And if he did, he got to be accountable for that. As a matter, that's of, it. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, if you're trying to prove that she's a worker, and she is, and you didn't see it, yeah. It shows more what you are than what she is uh, every day. Right. It's just funny to me that the dudes who are supposed to be experts at this literally couldn't see something that was supposedly right in their face, but their own fans could see it. Mm -hmm. How does that make you a credible leader in this regards? It doesn't. When the fans pointed out to you, you call them stupid, uneducated, lonely dudes who have no game. But you, with all the game in the world, can't figure it out. You introduce her to your mom and your whole family. Dude, <laughs> not her if she is what you claim she is. That's a bigger L for you. The fact that you got on a podcast and thought, yo, this is a double, I'm about to eviscerate everything. All you did was make your brand look more shaky, you dumbass. <laughs> this would be like an evangelical getting accused. Bro, that would of... hurt my soul, bro. All right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, bro, I'm good. That would hurt my soul, dog. <laughs> that would hurt my soul, bro. If I found out that a bit played me to the point where I'm thinking this bitch is like the perfect old... Like, I'm about to bury that bit. I'm about to put some babies in her. You know what I'm saying? I want to show her off. I got them introduce her to my mama and everything, bro, because she just sold me a whole dream, bro, to come to find out that bitch is a whore. <laughs> bitch, you met my mama? Oh, Lord, dog. <laughs> bro, I'm not coming out in public no more. I'm not. Especially if I got a podcast like Fresh and Fit, and this the shit I'm telling motherfuckers not to do, and I got caught up like this. <laughs> Ooh, woo, bro, that's so tough, dog. That's so tough, bro. Anyway, bro. Yeah, man. I just hope. I just hope the fellas all take that shit with a grain of salt, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all fresh and fit fondulous <laughs> that gargle everything they fucking talking about. You know what I'm saying? Y'all that's coming at me, no diddy, goddamn, thinking I, you know, hate him or something. Bruh, I, I don't give two fucks about him, dog. But you got to call a spade to spade, bruh. You got to call a spade to spade, bruh. Get out your fucking feelings, bro. It, do yourself a favor, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Cut the cord. Just go to him for the entertainment. You know what I'm saying? 
Watch them shit on bitches. Watch them look stupid. Continue following their story, bro. But they are not them. He is not him. They they not what they claim to be. You feel me? And nor will they ever be. Dog, they some fucking fake ass, fake ass grifters, bro. That's what it is, bro. They do not practice what they preach. They tell y'all motherfuckers what y'all want to hear. They think they got it and they don't, bro. They're glorified simps. Real spit. Real spit, bro. It don't even matter. Y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do, bro. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> just say it, dog. Shit is crazy. Shit is crazy.